Afternoon YouTubers, this is Neil with River Rock Outdoors again. We're out here in the woods. Worked last night. Got me a little sleep this morning. My wife and uh, my daughter went ahead of me. We found a little place by the lake. My wife and I did, which I, you may have seen on one of my previous videos we decided to take the afternoon and it's about three o'clock in the afternoon and uh, just uh spend some time out here at the lake and a little private area nobody comes back here good clear trail and uh i didn't bring a tarp i didn't bring anything but a hammock and a and some fishing gear, a little fishing pack on me here. As you might see. Watch it, it'll probably rain, so but that's okay. I brought some food. I'm gonna try to cook a little something on the grill for my ladies. So love my family. Thank God I have a family that you know likes to get out and do things. It's just a beautiful day though. No, there's not a cloud in the sky, you see. The only thing I'm missing is my cameraman, so I'm filming this with my phone and a little tripod and just minimal gear, really. And uh, hopefully, we can uh, spot some. Uh, we spotted some river otters and some uh, bald eagles back here last time, and uh, a lot of wildlife back here. And seen a little bit of a hog sign, maybe where they rooted up around trees and stuff. How? hogs do sometimes. I don't know if you can see that, but the, those leaves are just rooted and kind of rustled up, but I've noticed too off in the woods over here, there's a few places. I'm going to run up on one I'll show you guys. But I think this area back here doesn't get frequented a lot by people, except during around hunting season, so stay tuned for a little bit when I find the girls. I know they're back here somewhere. A lot of Native Americans would walk toe to heel to be quiet while they were hunting and learn to do that and how your weight's distributed. You know, how you manage that is uh, how you position your feet. But most everybody, if you're going out in a trail, you leave evidence of where you've been. And I got a kind of idea where they're at. But uh, I just wanted to kind of show you. Down on, I know ain't, nobody's been back in here for a little bit. So if I look for signs of them walking, if we were to trail or to track something I don't know a whole lot about, but I know a little bit. Like a lot of hunters know how to track certain animals. Uh, I got something over here. Heard it. Thought I'd get a shot at it. Sound pretty heavy, maybe like a deer. But anyway, looks like it's sounds like it's going on, but huh. It's still over there somewhere. I don't know what that is. But there's like the leaves right here. See you see those leaves are kind of ruffled up. And in that by itself isn't a big thing. You won't think anything about it, but when you stand up and look, there's a trail of ruffled up leaves. Some of them's kind of pressed down, but as a person walks, most people scoot their feet. When you do that, you kick up dirt and leaves and sticks. So, you can actually see a trail. I don't know if you can see it on this camera, but I can see it from up here. Where they've been. Of course, I know they've been on this trail because this is the only trail back here. Just a little something. And also, like you can see, certain weeds that are bent over that you would scoot with your foot. 
big tall weeds. Here's another one. Somebody was just kind of knocked over casually with their foot, just like that. Anyway, these are some things, you know, picked up when I was a kid. My dad showed me when I was growing up. And uh, those things stick with you. A good example of stride. I don't know if you can see it. See where the grass is bent down? All right. Whatever went through here, which is more likely either my wife or daughter, bent the grass that direction. So that's the direction they're walking. So you can tell by this that the stride's probably not quite as long as mine. Because my stride's a little longer. So my foot steps here, and then there, there's bent grass back here. So I can see the trail, which, you know, it's no big deal. I mean, I'm on the trail, it's, but just to try to give you an example of stride, kind of tell how tall an animal is, and then by footfall, you can determine the weight. So any of you guys listening that are experienced trackers, you know, like uh, people that do it quite a bit leave a comment let me know what you think uh, let, let me know some of your advice because i i refer to your wisdom i i'm not a very good tracker i just know some things about it but it's like anything else you have to do it continually so any of you guys that are hunters or trackers or people that you know can tell what type and how what how heavy and that sort of thing Feel free to leave a comment or two. I'd love to hear from you. When I was a kid, uh, I was talking about tracking and things kind of flood back to your mind when you're doing stuff like this and doing video logs. And, but hopefully, you know, some of this information will be useful to somebody. I don't know, but you pass knowledge on. I think, I think YouTube's a great venue to do that. So I don't know a whole lot, but, but when I was a kid, we started talking about my dad uh, telling me, you know, about how to track and whatnot and we went we didn't hunt a whole lot my dad took me hunting a couple of times but we never got an opportunity to continue doing that but i knew a lot of people that did and but we was you know 18 years old we had a lot of woods in the backyard and rivers to run around on and mountains to climb and spent a lot of time doing that as a kid and we'd play this game where we'd have a about a five acre plot behind her house at nothing but woods and me and about I don't know eight or ten more uh, neighborhood boys would join up and we would uh, we would play uh, like a form of hide and go seek but we would track each other and uh, this is back the day before uh, YouTube and Facebook and all those things when kids actually got out and did something and uh i guess that hopefully maybe you know i see some kids watching youtube that might get inspired to get out and try things rather than just ex you know see them on a monitor because there's a big difference but we would uh we would pick one to go out and he would hide in the woods and then the remainder would uh, split up and try to find him so it's kind of kind of like hide and seek but the, the thing was you had to look to see if you could find where he had been and then you know the person that found him they got to hide next and so and then but we'd we'd play variations of that game and spend the entire day all the way up into the night in the woods just playing and having fun so you kids now if you're watching this don't go out there in the woods and get lost and blame it on me <laughs> it's just uh, sharing a memory with you see where that root is they slid slid see and uh, I can tell maybe by the 
ridges in that slide. It's more likely my wife's boot. So this is another print that actually is coming out the other way. See, it's pointed back this way. So and this is a big old snake hole. Come to the end of the trail. So see if we can't find where they entered in. But it would seem that they've gone through here. Pretty dense forest. And this is where it gets a little harder. If you look ahead of it, there's another one. See that little one stick? Somebody stepped on it. I'm going to say they headed in that direction. Yes, we found them. Give the turkey call. <laughs> All right. I'm making a, a video on how to track your family in the wilderness. Now did you just come through this way? For the purpose for the purpose of the video. I'm gonna say you did. I'm gonna track track my family in the woods and we found them. Oh, we're roughing it. Woo! What are you doing over there? Flapping a stick with this. Why don't you got your hammock up? It was up, but I have to get this down so I can see. Oh my god. And so I'm gonna saw it off. Okay. Fire going. I'm gonna put a grill up and cook us some steaks here in a minute. Meh, 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 meh. 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 I'm gonna feed them yahoos over there. We're gonna have some uh, corn on the cob and some uh, fire roasted peppers. I uh, took four sticks with kind of Y branches in them. Why? I don't know. Haha. <laughs> Starting to dissipate. I'm going to lay the corn across that rack. We got our uh, corn and our peppers roasting over the fire. I'm going to let those cook for a little while so everything will get done at the same time. New York strip steak, roasted ear of corn, and a roasted pepper. Two ladies are over there, hopefully enjoying their meal. It's pretty good. Not bad. Here's our here's our kitchen. Our, our native kitchen. Hiking out of this thing. Did you have fun? Yeah. So we got lost, right? Yeah. yeah. That was the fun. Yeah, well, <laughs> my fault. But, uh, you know, one good thing about it is we've got shell. Right? right, guys? When we're wrong, we we'll EDA out here. Follow our the public area. Full time, and, and hopefully we'll be back for some more adventures. And until then, God bless and have a good time, whatever you do.